latest pictures from the stricken Ionian islands of Zante, Cephalonia and Attica bring home the true horror of the devastation caused by the recent earthquakes. Amidst the shattered ruins, homeless survivors, encouraged to return from the hills where they had sought refuge, begin to face life anew. Her Majesty's Navy, first on the scene after the disaster struck, continue the magnificent work of rescue and help. Gradually, the Greek government are taking over the administration, but in the meantime, naval personnel live ashore, the better to discharge the difficult tasks awaiting, including attention to the wounded. Here, a naval medical officer examines a baby, whilst all available sources, including units of the American Navy, set about bringing in urgent supplies. Providing freshly baked bread, 5,000 loaves daily is the estimate, keeps naval ratings and cooks busy. To say nothing of all the other necessities of life, including tinned milk, but it's rewarding work. At Yerasimos in Cephalonia, the monastery was almost completely ruined, and a nearby tent now provides a makeshift place of worship. Before the building collapsed, the glass-sided sarcophagus wherein St. Yerasimos has reclined for 350 years was saved, and nuns continue the centuries-long vigil. Such faith is what sustains the people of these tragic islands as they start the reconstruction of their lives amidst the ruins. Flowers still growing seem to emphasize the freakish whims of nature, which in another mood brought terror, death and blind destruction. But life is coming back to places and people once numbed with shock. A gesture of gratitude, a shared drink of wine, a family together while a mother amuses her children. Such things testify once more to the endurance of the human spirit that faces whatever fate may send and carries on.